Hello singers! Hello cantanti! Today we are going to practice some spoken Italian with Brandon. Brandon is one of my Skype students. He lives in Rome and I live in Milan and he is an Italian singer, songwriter and rapper. I am very proud of him because his first single and video is out now. So good luck, Brandon, and welcome. How are you? How is it to have your first song on the radio? Are you happy? Ciao Elena, ciao ragazzi. Hi guys. I just released the first track, which is my first single, which is called Vertigini, and is in Radio Date as well. And it's also out on YouTube on my official channel which is called official Brandon and you can see the video it's been spotted in Sicily upon the Etna the Vulcan and uh, I'm very excited about it now it's going pretty well I'm I'm very satisfied so I really enjoyed my my lessons I've done with uh, Elena I can say I'm a better singer because of her so I I recommend you to like guys to to keep working hard to keep following the lessons of Elena because she's great she's a great vocal coach funny and smart she's a she's a she's also like very kind all the time so it's great consider how relevant it is that Brandon is from Rome and I am living in Milan I'm not from Milan but I'm living here you will hear that our accent in Italian is pretty different. So let's get started. Brandon's song that is out now is called Vertigini. And we are going to work on the last, on the stanza that is almost at the end of the song, which is a rap stanza. La paura che ha sempre segnato il mio destino. Dentro le altezze, quella di cadere a picco, come quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso e tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. La paura che ha sempre segnato il mio destino. So we are going to read it. Changing the vowels and deciding that we are going to use just one vowel, which is the A in this case. So, la para you. Ca a sampra. Sagnata al madastana. All at once. La para ca sampra sagnata al madastana. Now with E. Closed E. Le pere you. Che sempre segnete you. El medestene. Le pere. This is an open E. Le pere. Che sempre segnete. Le medestene. When we speak, when we try to, um, to articulate and the language we are using, it's not our native language. We don't really feel the difference between be pronouncing properly and pronouncing a little funny, in a, in a funny way, you know. And this happens to me speaking English, so I'm sorry for my pronunciation, I do my best. But I know that this is something that happens also when you, you are trying to sing in Italian. So let's try and work on it together. Why are we making this funny game with words? It is because we have to um, record through our ears the real sound of the Italian vowels. So when we are using them in the long run we will realize that 
we just have a few vowels. We don't have many. So you just have to listen to them and try and repeat them. This is quite easy. So let's do it. Let's go on. We did the A, the, the close E, open E. So A and A. Now let's do it with an I. Lipiri. <laughs> this is really funny. Try. Lipiri. You do it. Chi sempre signiti il mio destini. Let's do it with a U. Lupuru, cu sum prosuliuto il modo stuno. See the face? Just repeat it. Then the O, closed O. We have the lo, lo. Open is Lo, 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 lo. So, um, lo poro co o sombro sognoto o il modo stono. Very good. Now we try and practice the o. Try and repeat it. O. Lo poro. Co son pro sognoto ol modo stono. Very good. So let's practice just very fast the whole vowels. A, E, E, I, O. O, U. This is all we have. So, vowel exercise. Very good. Let's try and read it again. When you have moved, when you have practiced your face muscles, your mouth muscles, and you have just done it with no sense at all, now we're going to give it a meaning. Let's do it as it has to be done. So, La paura che ha sempre segnato, you do it. Il mio destino. Very good. So now we are going to practice. Dentro le altezze, quella di cadere a picco. Ok, let's see. We now are going to concentrate on the consonants. Let's listen to this D, 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 D. It's not D, D, D. It's D, D, D. Dentro, dentro, dentro. T, T, R, R. Dentro. Try. Dentro le Dentro le altezze Ok, let's try this double Z Altezze Altezze You can hear this suspense sound, you know Altezze and in order to understand how long it has to be, uh, how long do we have to wait, we have just to, to practice and to, just to have a rhythmic uh, feel of the language. So, let's try. Dentro le altezze. Dentro le altezze. Dentro le altezze. Dentro le altezze. You hear this double Z, slow the sentence. It slows it. Dentro le altezze, dentro le altezze, dentro le altezze, dentro le altezze. Let's do it just speaking. Dentro le altezze, dentro le altezze, dentro le altezze, dentro le altezze. Ok, the stress that helps is the te, altezze. It is just the point when we jump, like a skater jumping. Le altezze, all right? So, dentro le altezze, you do it. Q, 
quella, quella. Here we have a double that sound. There's no suspense silence, you know. There is sound here, but it's it's not longer than the previous. So let's do it. Quella, 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 quella. Do it with me. Quella, sorry. Quella, quella, quella. Quella, ok, mm. quella di cadere, you can hear we have lots of D, D's, ok, D, 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 be careful, never say D, or when you have to say a T, never say T, T, but T, 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 ok, on the palate, but it's a soft movement, it's not T, 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 so, Quella di cadere, quella di cadere. You try. Quella di cadere, and now we have another double, which is the double C, picco. The C in this case is hard, so it's c, c. So it is a picco, a picco. You try, a picco. And in this case, the A, Elongates a little bit. A picco, just to give you this movement, helps you out with the double. So, um, di cadere a picco. You try. All right. So let's do it all at once. Concentrating, focusing on the consonants. Okay. Dentro le altezze, you do it. Quella di cadere a picco. This work is something I do also with Italians because when we speak, we really speak so fast that you cannot hear certain syllables, especially um, at the end of the word. So even the native speakers have to practice, especially when they have to rap or just sing songs that have lots of words. We have to learn how to articulate and be very um, clear when we pronounce, okay? Next exercise is for the next sentence. And we have Come quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli. Okay. Let's work slow and then we just go faster. Hmm? So we have Come You repeat every time, okay? Quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli. We should add all'im add sorry add all'improvviso because his He's saying it is as if when you are dreaming, then you wake up all of a sudden. All'improvviso means all of a sudden. So we should read the whole sentence till all'improvviso, otherwise it doesn't make much sense. So let's, let's say it all at once, okay? Come quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. Again, come quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You. Okay, here we have two sounds that are quite difficult. Because we don't have many vowels, but we have some sounds that are only ours. So, let's try and say sogno, which is dream, and I swear that some Italians, for their um, dialect, the, uh, because of the way they are used to pronounce since they are born, they cannot, they cannot pronounce certain uh, sounds like 
y for example, y, y, y. This is very difficult, and we have it. Svegli, ti svegli. So, don't feel bad. Try and repeat it, okay? It's not so hard. Sogno, ny, ny, ny. You do it. Ny, ny. This is the G-N sound. Ny, ny. Sogno, dream. Sogno. Sogno. And now let's try svegli. This is the G-L sound. G-L-I. <laughs> svegli. This is also the sound of the, of the um, subject he. We say egli. Egli. Svegli. Okay? Let's try. Y-Y-Y-Y. You have to move the all mouth inside. The tongue, everything, the palate, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try. Very good. So let's try from the beginning of this sentence till the end, which is come quando you come quando dentro un sogno you. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli, you? Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. And here, all'improvviso, we have al, double L, improvvi, double V, zo. So let's do it and try to hear how long do these doubles last, okay? So, all'improvviso, you try. Again, all'improvviso. Okay, imp, imp, mm. Mm, imp, impro, impro, you, impro. Again, all'improvviso, you, all'improvviso. Again, all'improvviso, you. Very good. So now, we made it, and we have to do it slow. Let's try. Come quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You do it! Come on! Very good! <laughs> Now let's do it a little faster. Come quando dentro a un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You do it. Very good. Never forget to breathe. Anytime you have to start an exercise and to pronounce a sentence, doesn't matter if you are speaking. You don't, uh, you don't have to breathe only when you sing. Your musical instrument is you. You are wearing your musical instrument all 
day long, all night long, all your life long. <laughs> so we have to learn how to breathe always, okay? Let's do it a little faster. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You do it. Faster. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You hear? Rhythm. You do it. A little faster. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You try. Faster. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You try. Faster. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. You try. Come on, you can do it. A little faster. Last one. Okay. Come quando dentro un sogno dopo ti svegli all'improvviso. Very good. You did it. Okay. Did you record what you did? You have to listen to what you do. Never forget that. Okay. So always compare. Hmm? Here we have the last sentence and it sounds like this. E tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. Okay, here we, we are going to work on the stresses in order to understand how a stress and also how dynamics can change the meaning of a sentence. Mm? So, um, uh, I told you that I do this work even with Italian sp singers because um, when you are really aware of a language work then when you sing and you think of the meaning of what you're saying when you want to communicate then you have the tools in order to do it better so that's why we work on that even with Italians you know so let's do it we try to stress the first word instead of the others. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. You try. This sentence means everything vanished, disappeared when he, on the moment you gave me your smile. So all the fears disappeared because she smiled to him, okay? So, in this case, we are stressing, we are underlining the word everything disappeared, everything, okay? So, tutto, tutto, okay? We also, we also have this suspense silence. Come on, be brave. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. You do it again, please. And now we underline the disappeared, as svanito. So, tutto, no, sorry, I'm trying again. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo, il tuo sorriso. You do it. Very good. And now, the moment. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. So, the moment is the most important, important thing, okay? And now, the most important thing is the, the, the fact that you gave me something. So, tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. You gave it to me, okay? And last but not least, now of course the most important thing is the smile she gave to him. So, 
Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. So now we are going to practice this last sentence before hearing Brandon doing singing the all stanza at once with dynamics. So when you have to sing or speak loud, you have to concentrate on the vowels and consonants. But when you have to do it soft, it's a little more difficult, isn't it? So let, let's try, okay? Let's do it loud. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. And this is quite screaming. Try. Okay. And no soft. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. Again. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. Let's try it a little different, kind of a hair voice. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. Ok, so, consonants make the language understandable. If you don't pronounce properly the consonants, you will understand nothing of this soft sentence. Ok, so let's try it again. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. And again. Tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso. This last one is not romantic at all. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's an exercise. So now let's listen to Brandon doing it. La paura che ha sempre segnato il mio destino Dentro le altezze, quella di cadere a picco Come quando dentro un sogno Dopo ti svegli all'improvviso E tutto è svanito dal momento in cui mi hai dato il tuo sorriso I really hope you enjoyed this video And that it's been useful for you And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel Buon canto a tutti! Ciao! Please Read the description below and feel free to support my videos on Patreon and on PayPal.